Today, Jeff's going to be giving you a closer look at this Nextbox Android TV box. Okay, this is the A95X from Nextbox uh, Android TV box, and they're all pretty much the same. They, well, they look the same uh, with a couple minor uh, details that are different, but uh, most of them pretty much look the same, and most of them are really small like this. And when he says most of them, he means all Android TV boxes. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, they're pretty small. You can hide in places, um, and they're pretty powerful. So this guy has one gig of RAM and eight gig of internal memory. Uh, so that uh, results to probably four gig of usable uh, internal memory, uh, just so you know. But there are ways to make your um, uh, storage uh, get expanded. So we'll, I'll, I'll show you that. But um, here are the things that it comes with. Uh, a nice remote. This is probably one of the better remotes I've seen uh, with these. Mm -hmm. um, it comes with a HDMI cable and then a power cable, which I already have plugged over there. Um, and that's all it comes with. Um, but you do have uh, some different uh, things that you can use. You got your HDMI, you get your LAN. This is wireless, so if you do have a wired uh, Ethernet, you can go ahead and plug that in if you don't want to use wireless. Uh, AV and SPDIF. Uh, sometimes these guys come with um, cables that you can plug in there, but you can also go and buy those at a hardware store as well. Uh, it looks like a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, and then it goes out to like uh, the red, uh, yellow, and white AV cables um, in this one as well. And that's your power. And then over here is where you can expand your storage. You've got a micro SD card slot and two USB slots. So you can extend your storage here on this guy. I know he's only eight uh, gig ROM and four, probably about four usable, but um, if you're just using a few apps, then you'll be totally fine. But if you want some videos stored on here and stuff like that, you'll have to add some uh, storage with some USB or micro uh, SD card. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in. I already have a US, or a, uh, HDMI cable over here. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. We'll show you what it looks like. Plug in my HDMI. And you can see how speedy he is. With uh, one gig of RAM, usually sometimes they run kind of slow, uh, but this guy is not that bad. He runs kind of fast. And obviously, if you have a bunch of apps running at the same time, you're probably going to see a little bit of slowdown because of the one gig of RAM. Um, I recommend if you're looking for something and if you're a heavy user or going to be a heavy user, uh, I recommend at least the two gig of RAM uh, for what you're looking at. But if you just want to run a few apps, listen to some music, maybe watch YouTube, one gig of RAM is probably good enough for you. So let this guy boot up. Okay, so here's your interface. Nice interface. I already have them connected to my Wi-Fi, but I'll show you how to do that. A couple differences that this guy has is he has this nice bar up here that tells you your temperature and everything of your area, and that's pretty easy to, to set. You just go up there and hit OK, and uh, you can go ahead and set your city name, and, and off you go. So we'll get out of that. Okay, so yeah, that's a little different than some of the other ones I've seen. Um, but the interface is, is pretty much the same. This one does have uh, Kodi pre-installed on it, which is kind of nice. Uh, if you don't know what Kodi is, I'll show you really quick. Um, Kodi is like a one-stop shop for streaming music and videos and sometimes even TV shows. Uh, so for instance, there's music and you got Radio Disney on here. We'll go ahead and hit play. And there's Radio Disney for you. And as you can tell, sound comes through really good. I've got it all sound system, but um, the sound comes through really well. So there you go. You don't have any problems with sound. Go ahead and get out of that. So we're out of Cody, but Cody's really nice because like I said, you, you can do music, videos, even live TV shows. Uh, you just gotta go around and look around in the little system, but it comes pre-installed, which is nice. You also have the Google Play Store, which I've already signed into my account. So it's exactly the way the Google Play Store is on your phone or tablet. And you'll see in just a second, when it pops up, there it is. So it looks just like the Google Play Store from your from your phone and tablet. 
um, and you can navigate uh, with the keyboard. There is a button for a mouse here, just in case you know you, you can't navigate right. But there's your mouse. You just hold it in the direction of the keys, and your mouse gets moved around and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes, and the reason why I bring that up is because sometimes in these apps, it's hard to use the the directional keys. It doesn't work as well. But uh, it's a good point to make that you can use wireless keyboards and mouse. This is just a plain Logitech uh, uh, little USB thing. Plug it in there. It's much faster. So you can see that little mouse is slow to slide down your screen. But it's really convenient if you're going to be doing a lot of typing and moving around. You can just plug in a keyboard and a mouse. It's oh, nice to have them sitting out. Well, that might have froze up. Oh, there we go. Looks like that application stopped working there for a sec. Oh. Give us just oh. a sec. Okay, sorry about that. That app froze up. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> I plugged that in earlier and it worked. Uh, something happened when I plugged it in, but I just unplugged it really quick and, and then, and then uh, plugged it back in. But... So like I said, there's your problem with uh, one gig of RAM. Sometimes you're just going to get a little bit slower than normal. Uh, Google Play is, it takes a little bit of time to come up. But what I want to show you is by plugging in this little Logitech wireless USB, you get, you know, your keyboard and mouse. So there's your little mouse up there. I can click on Google Play and then I can type stuff. Like I said, it's a little bit slow, but you can use a keyboard and mouse um, with this. So let's go ahead and get out of this. But you can download any app you want um, that goes on your tablet and or your phone and use it just like you would on a phone or tablet. So the other thing I wanted to show you is probably why it's running a little bit slow. Uh, the memory is kind of high. It's nice that they put this little clean memory button on here. And click that and it'll close all the apps that are running in the background so you can free up some memory and see how it goes all the way down so that's 73 so it saved a little bit um, very nice so if it starts running slow you can go ahead and do that um, and then my apps is just like that it's the apps you download from Google Play show up right here so you can go ahead and choose whatever you want have you downloaded downloaded any of these or are they all automatically on these there? are all the pre pre-installed ones. And you can go into your settings, which I'll show you in a sec, and delete them if you want to free up some space. If you don't want any of these apps like Vivo or Voodoo, if you don't use them, then delete them. Free up some space. Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, you don't need them on there if you're not going to use them. They're just taking up space. So the last thing I wanted to show you is, uh, well, down here actually, this is your quick menu. You can add and take away apps from here by just clicking on that add and then you can uncheck so see that guy's right there we'll uncheck him cool. and put this guy on there and click out of there and as you can see that one went away and the one we added went right there so you can add it's a quick bar you can add whatever you want to take away um, but I'll show you the settings really quick it's just like your Android device so there's nothing that, if you know Android, there's nothing that's going to sneak up on you and be like, I don't know what that is. You're going to know what it is if you know your Android device. Is your network the way to connect to your, your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet or a VPN even? Uh, apps, this is where you would go in and uninstall any of your apps here. So you can click on, there you go. So say I don't want Facebook on here. I'm going to click on Facebook, and we're going to uninstall it right there. Oops. And it's nice. It'll tell you right there how much storage is used from that app. So there you go. Facebook is now uninstalled on my system, and I just saved 30 megs. So, you know, you can, you can you know, if you don't want any of these on there, you can go ahead and, and uninstall them from here. Uh, and then the rest of your settings, you can look at your storage and you can also reset the device. It's about your device um, and all the stuff down here. Your language, if you don't speak English, if you want a different language. It's all the languages that Android 
it speaks. Uh, you can change right there. Your keyboard, your playback, power key, uh, definition, accessibility, more settings. There's all these things that you can do. Uh, one more thing that you can do with this, it does have the USB, so you can plug in uh, uh, game pads, USB game pads, uh, into this and play some games if you really want to. Um, the one that I know that works on this is the old Xbox 360 wired uh, uh, controllers. Works very well on this. Uh, so if you wanted to download some games and play some games, you can go ahead and use that. If you've got an old one or one that you don't use anymore, you can go ahead and, and try it. Or you can it use works. it just to navigate. If you wanted to yeah. avoid the remote control, you can use it to navigate around, and it would be just like moving around on a gaming system. Yep. So as you can see, the sound, the video is very bright, vibrant. Um, and I'll show you some YouTube video here. So you can see that the picture is, is vibrant, sound works. This will do 4K. So this is a 1080p screen. I don't have a 4K TV yet, uh, but this will do 4K video. So if you've got 4K and you want to show some videos and pictures in 4K, this guy will do it. Um, but if you only have 1080, it works perfectly fine, just like that. Sound is great. Picture is bright and vibrant. It's not, you know, it doesn't glitch around or anything, it's really smooth and uh, works really well. So that is the A95X, oh, I guess there you go, the A95X Nextbox Android TV box. All right, thanks Jeff. So it's nice that it's got that quick menu down at the bottom like we saw before. You can plug in any wireless keyboards or USB gaming pads with this to navigate around if you want something that's going to be a little bit smoother than the remote control, depending on what you're doing on it. It's got the nice Kodi on it, which is pretty cool for you to quickly access um, several things. And this one's got a nice menu at the top that will show you weather forecast and uh, information like that. Um, so this is a nice little Android TV box. And yeah... For the common user that would be using this, it's got pretty much everything you need and a nice, uh, convenient, clean memory app on there so you can see what you're running. Yep, if you don't have a, a Chromecast or anything like that, or if you wanted to step up your Chromecast a little bit, this would be a good option for you. Uh, they're pretty cheap, and they'll do anything you really want it to do. It's, it's a nice little box, uh, so it'll, it'll do what you want. All right, thanks.